The moment I flip these glasses over my spectacles, I can even see three-dimensionally. We call it, therefore, 3D endoscopic heart surgery. Good morning, my name is Theo Kofidis. I'm the head of the department of CTVS at the National University Heart Center of Singapore. And I'll be introducing to you some of our instruments and techniques we're using to provide patients with minimal invasive procedures. One of the most important instruments is, for example, the left atrial retractor. This is an instrument that goes into the heart, opens the heart so the surgeon can see the heart valve he is operating on. Another tool is the flexible clamp. You see this clamp here can be bent, actually, and uh, can be placed on the heart, on the aorta, but it is bendable, flexible, so it doesn't take too much space through the small incision. These instruments are very long and thin because they are supposed to pass through keyholes, small incisions of the body. The tools for minimal invasive bypass surgery are usually big fixators that stabilize other smaller instruments on the side of the chest. Fixators on the side of the table will hold other retractors which will open the wound so that the surgeon can enter. This is, for example, a wound opener. will lift the part of the chest that the surgeon needs to be lifted and look inside in order to stitch the bypasses on the heart. They come in different sizes, adaptable to each patient's body in size or weight. New technology entering the field further facilitates minimal invasive and endoscopic heart surgery. Take, for example, the automatic knot fastener. It ties the knots so the surgeon doesn't have to through the very small incisions we make on the chest. We'll enter the chest through a very, very small incision and the entire heart surgery can be done using camera and image assistance. The moment I flip these glasses over my spectacles, I can even see three-dimensionally. We call it, therefore, 3D endoscopic heart surgery. By doing so, we provide the patient with a lot of advantages. Number one, and most important, the faster mobilization and recovery. Number two, less pain, less infection, less blood loss, less breaking bones and damaging body structures. New technology moves the goalposts and facilitate a much improved patient journey in the field of heart surgery.